this is a this is a no win situation. I mean, these two students are very well possibly looking at expulsion. Two teenagers are sitting behind bars today instead of at their school desks. Deputies say Diego Salavar and Selena Velasquez shared threats online over the weekend about a shooting at Henry County Schools. NBC2 Samantha Serban is live at LaBelle Middle where both of the kids go to school. There's a good chance these kids don't ever walk through the doors of LaBelle Middle School again. Even though deputies found and arrested those students, there was still a single point of entry here at school this morning with metal detectors to make sure everyone was safe. Hendry County deputies were front and center outside LaBelle Middle and High School's Monday, an important site for peace of mind after a social media post circled this weekend about a shooting. Our sheriff is just not going to put up with that. You make these kind of threats and we find out who you are, you're going to jail. Captain Susan Harrell says tips came pouring in through Fortify Florida, a suspicious activity reporting app that sends all information to law enforcement and the school district. Curtis Clay represents both. I was so happy to see how many people actually put in the report, shared the photographs they had received, and we as the Henry County School District want to thank the citizens of Henry County because really as a sheriff's deputy and, and, and director of school safety and security, I know people think security is our issue, but really it's, it's, it's the people's issue, the families, the students. They're going to know about things a lot of times way before we do. Speaking of students, Stevie Wilson has kids in both LaBelle Middle and High School. She wasn't sure about sending them in today, despite the fact they wanted to go. So I would have felt a little bit better knowing the exact details, knowing how did we find this out, like what is the credibility of it. The students deputies say made the post were in jail before first bell. Diego Salivar and Celiana Velasquez are both 13 years old. One of them told deputies it was a joke. I don't see where that could fall in line at any kind of a joking matter. It's not any way you kind of play it out. There's no way you could have it as a joking matter. No, ma'am. Um, in fact, this is pretty sad. I think they think this is some kind of funny drama thing that they can just do it to get out of school or miss school or cause drama. And it, this is not a joke. This is very, very serious. We've had several students that have panic attacks over this. We have to understand that this is real. And real actions come with real consequences. These two are facing a felony. Do you know, did, the, did either of those kids have access to weapons? Do you know? I believe one of them did. This is just one example of why this Fortify Florida app is so important. Because of all of the people who made reports yesterday, the suspected students were not in class today. Local in LaBelle, Samantha Serban, NBC2.